Welcome to your court case. Today I'm going to be making a Genshin OC based on some quizzes I take, which is pretty fun. But before we get started, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe. We're pretty close to 3k and that's kind of insane. So make sure you're subscribed. And with that, let's get on to the video. All right, so this is the quiz taking portion. <coughs> if I sound a little off right now, it's because I'm a bit sick while recording this, but get we ball. Uh, welcome. You've been noticed by. Oh my God, that's so much reading. Oh, here's the fir first question. What will you do with this new power? Augment my existing talents. Okay, sure. Uh, okay, justified. I. Pyro! From a flame, passion, rebellion, going against the great Nibanui idea of war. Okay. What did I get second place? And? <laughs> okay. I don't really. I don't really make characters that are associated with fire. I was really expecting Hydro, so. Okay. Okay, Pyro. Next we have what region? Or should we go weapon first? Let's go weapon first. Long range or short range? Uh, short range. Sword, okay. <laughs> okay, we're a Pyro sword user. Okay. What Genshin region do we reside in? Okay, Pro proceed. Oh, nice. Okay. I love you, Furmin. <laughs> The results we ended up getting were a pyro user from Fontaine who is also a sword unit. With that, let's get started. So originally I was gonna make this character a older man, but I kind of gave up on trying that and I was like, I'm tired, I do this after I do my actual job and I don't want to put that much detail into it. So this is a four star female character because one, I think that it's way easier to find, uh, like, just clothing that kind of fits Fontaine when it comes to girls. And two, I'm just really tired after work and I didn't want to do the whole shebang of doing a really complex design and all of that, so I hope you can forgive me. I personally don't even like this drawing that much, but I'm trying to get over this whole thing of wanting everything I put out to be perfect. So even though I think this could use another pass, a few more details, I... I had to post because I'm recording this on Thursday now. Um, but I have a few ideas for what the character is like. I, I did actually come up with that. Uh, most of these ideas are actually uh, how she would work as a meta unit, but I feel like we should get into the lore first. So I think that she's an archivist for the Fontaine court. I think that's a fun little thing. Uh, she's not really involved in any plot stuff because that's not really involved in anything, but all she does is keep track of the records in the archives of all the court cases in Fontaine at the, um, sorry if I'm mispronouncing this, but Palace Memor Memonia? Memormina. I I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. But uh, she works there, she's a, she's a little archivist, and her passion is about making sure that all these papers are kept here and that the knowledge is preserved. I know that with the knowledge thing, she should have been Dendro, but I... <laughs> the second I got Pyro, I was floored and out of it. I was so expecting to get a Hydro character that when I got a Pyro character, all my ideas went out the window. So apologies. Uh, when I was gonna make her a disgruntled old man, I was gonna make it that uh, at first she was really, really passionate about this, and now she's kind of just like, uh, it's my job, and it keeps the bills. Uh, I don't know. Maybe she's still like this. Maybe she's like been on the job for like f ten years now. You know, she's like. She got the job when she's 18, so now she's like 28, and she's like, I want to quit now, but I can't. <laughs> uh, weirdly enough, I have a weird amount of, like, ideas of how she would work as a unit. I don't know why. I think it just comes from the fact that uh, the way I play Genshin, keeping track of what kind of meta units, that's kind of what's in my head. But I think she's a sub-DPS, and the way her kit would work is that um, she scales off of HP, uh, her attack would, her attack is just normal, sword attack, her E would uh, transform all of her HP into attack via percentages, and those percentages would be upped by constellations and by um, uh, leveling up and all of that. Uh, a second thing I think would happen is that her ult is kind of almost like a Ganyu ult, where uh, 
like rain down a lot of burning papers because I think it's funny that a bunch of burning papers are raining down but the big downside is that whatever character you have out at that moment is going to take damage so you might want to you either want a healer on the team or you want someone who has a ton of HP. So I think that's kind of how her kit works. It's very much so like sub DPS. If you can get her HP super high, she can do super high damage over a long period of time. So she's kind of like, she has a big circle and it's raining down flaming paper. <laughs> that's my idea. Um, when it comes to the way her uh, E would scale, I think I, I would want to say that her uh, talents would make it so that more and more of the percentage gets transferred from HP to attack, but the way Genshin is, it'd probably be a lot of uh, constellations, if I'm honest. I think most of her constellations are either getting more HP, getting the ult to stay longer on field, and getting the character to transfer more of that HP into attack, because I think that goes off of scale, like scaling off of um, like percentages. I think like when you have her like zero talents, it only does like 15% of your HP gets added to your like attack, and so on, so so forth until you have your C6 and fully maxed out, and she's doing 100% of what her uh, HP is into attack, and it's cool. Um. Characters I think she could work on. This is, again, I don't know why this is how my brain works, but this is how my brain works. I keep thinking of her, how she would work in the meta, and I'm like, here's the team comp, hypothetically with her. Um, I think she could work, uh, definitely a healer. I think Kokomi would be a good one for the vaporize. Um, I think a fun team could be her, um, Raiden Shogun, Yaimiko, and then uh, Kokomi as like a vaporize and um, overload team. If that's not what you're into, um, I think a team could also work where um, you get her and Ganyu on one team and then you get a bunch of characters that can group together. I think that could be a fun idea. I'm just spitballing here. Uh, she's not real. Um, I'm gonna let you guys name her. When she was still gonna be an old disgruntled dude, I was gonna name her Victor after a French author. But maybe maybe her name could be Victoria. I think that could be fun. Though I feel like Victoria is a little stepping on the feet of like Queen Victoria. And I don't know if I'm... I don't know. I kind of want her to stay within the realm of having like maybe an author's name. Just because she's a archivist. I don't know. Other details I have about her. I think that she is super clumsy. I think the reason that the papers, they're raining down on fire is because sometimes she just sets records on fire. She would just be like, oh, oops, oops, you just you just lost the court case because we burned all your records. <laughs> that could be a fun thing. Um, we're, I have an idea for what her level up materials would be. I think Rainbow Rose would be cute. Um, I don't know what boss she'd use. I, I don't know why I have like these random ideas of like, I know her level up material. I don't know what boss is though. I know her exact like unit. <laughs> <laughs> but I barely know a thing about her character. Um, okay, and I think she's kind of, I think having her, even though she's kind of young, she's probably like mid to late 20s. I know I didn't draw her that well as mid to late 20s, but that's what's in my head. Um, I think she's kind of a bit disgruntled. I think mid 20s is a better guess for how old she is. Even though she was like super passionate at the start and she's really burnt herself out. Ha 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 ha, pyro unit. Um... I don't really know what else to talk about. I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like this drawing. I wanted to like this drawing really badly, but because I tried to emulate the Genshin style without doing any sort of proper analysis and proper like way of dissecting what the Genshin style looks like, I jumped in. Um, I don't think it turned out that well. I think I definitely could have done a lot more. I think I didn't go all the way of going fully with the Genshin style, but I'm also trying to teach myself that not every drawing is going to be perfect. Not everything I put out is going to be my favorite thing ever. So I think, <laughs> I hope you can forgive me for now. Um, I know that in the poll, the other option was Genshin Vision Swap, and I still want to do that. I want to try to get a friend on for that, but I don't have many friends who are both uh, Genshin players and artists, so I got to figure that out.
And here's the finished character. Uh, I hope you like her. Uh, I already said my thoughts on her. Maybe leave some name suggestions or other stuff in the comments down below or even like your own Genshin OCs or stuff like that. And with that, we are coming to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, <laughs> we are super close to 3k and I know almost every other video I'm going, hey guys, here's this milestone we're close to, but we've been growing really fast and I really appreciate it and I just want to see how far we can get before VidCon because I'm going, so that's pretty cool. And with that, I'll see y'all later. Bye! <laughs>